Ciara Magos uh, Lasco Hurley. Um, Minister, you may have noticed that uh, despite the sharp criticism of my party from yourself and from three senators from the government benches, I sat and I listened and I did not interrupt. And maybe I might get the same res maybe I might get the same respect from members of the opposite the benches. Uh, can I first of all uh, if I can, Minister, set, uh, paint a picture and set a context and then uh, make one simple uh, point of fact. And uh, there was a study and uh, a report out today, which you will have seen, uh, which show up, I suppose, and magnify the crisis that we have in Europe and the crisis that we have in this state in relation to poverty and unemployment. We had the uh, 2011 CSO figures we show that the 25% uh, of the population are living in deprivation. A third of children living in deprivation and twice as many people at work uh, who are living in deprivation. And that the low paid, the unemployed and uh, lone parents were hit the hardest. And we also had a study uh, on the impact of austerity across Europe. And that report concluded that austerity is not working. And the point is that there are many people out there, which the Minister will agree, who are genuinely suffering and who have borne the brunt of six austerity budgets. And in that context, we are asking them to then pay for the debts of a toxic uh, bank. And the reality is, Minister, that the taxpayers of this country, the people who borne the brunt of those six austerity budgets, did not borrow one cent of that 28 billion euro. The taxpayers of this country did not spend one cent of that 28 billion euro. That money is a legacy debt of a toxic bank. It belongs to the people who lent into that bank, who were reckless in their lending, and was the responsibility of the people who ran that bank and how they mismanaged the uh, situation. It is not the debt of the people of this state. Um, it is the debt of the uh, bankers and the people who lent into the banks. So why on earth, Minister, should I celebrate uh, turning toxic banking debt into sovereign debt? Because that is the ultimate fact. What we did was, yes, get rid of the promissory note, as one of the uh, government senators said, but we replaced it with a sovereign bond. And those bonds uh, will be sold off to the private market. Uh, they will be... Uh, the interest will be repayable every six months. Once they are sold off, the interest rates will be determined by the European Central Bank. And what we have done is asked not just this generation, but the next generation of Irish people to pay that debt. And I resent absolutely your assertion, Minister, that my opposition to the taxpayers having to pay debts which are not theirs as somehow being party political or trying to gain political advantage. Because I too have children, two young children, and I don't want them to have to pay those debts. I would not ask you, Minister, or any Senator in this House, from the Government or Opposition, to pay my mortgage. And if I was to say to you, Minister, that my mortgage is 20 years left and I want you to pay it, but I'll tell you what, I'll give you a good deal. We can push out the loan and you can pay it over 40 years. Would you see that as a good deal? Of course you would not. And that is the central point which you and your government have not come to terms with. And while there is sharp criticism in this House uh, directed at my party, I can tell you that that is not the view of many people that I meet every single day of the week who are genuinely, genuinely suffering. And while we have these reports out today, which on the one hand demonstrate conclusively and show to all policymakers and Oireachtas members the level of deprivation, the level of poverty, the impact that decisions that you and your party and your government are making on people who live in this state. On, th on that day when those two reports come out and very clearly and explicitly put that on the record, you are asking me to see as a positive development, as you put it, turning 28 billion euro of toxic, dodgy banking debt into sovereign debt and asking my children, your children, and families outside this chamber to pay for it. Well, I will not be part of that. My party will not be part of that. And we will continue, as you put yourself, Minister, you made the point that the ECB 
uh, sought to have a separation of banking debt from sovereign debt. And I will finish on this. But that did not happen in the context of this deal. We did not separate sovereign debt from banking debt. We turned what was banking debt into a sovereign bond by virtue of what you did last week. And that is the reality of the situation. And you will not get support from me or from my party from, for doing that and at the same time imposing austerity budgets which are causing such deep hardship for many families out there. Thank you,